Good morning and welcome to my sewing channel. My name is Karen Marie. Uh, today I have a special treat because I am actually going to a sewing festival and I thought I'd take you with me. I've always been, you know, watching uh, all of you UK sewers going to like the knitting and stitching show and everything like that and been quite envious, uh, I have to say. <laughs> um, and for the first time, uh, they are arranging a sewing festival quite close to where I live, about an hour drive away, and I am now ready to go in. Um, the festival is called Fabrikstra. Uh, it is arranged by um, a company called Fabrik uh, that uh, consists of three or four ladies who um, are very into sustainable clothing and um, upcycling and uh, things like that. They have released several um, sewing books etc. Uh, I hope to be able to film a little bit and um, I'll see you later.
I am back in my car. I feel slightly self-conscious sitting and filming myself in the car. Um, so I'll, I'll try to make this very short. I have to be honest, I was quite overwhelmed in the beginning uh, because there were like so many people um, and so much to see. Um, but um, the the kind of half of the uh, hall was uh, set aside, reserved for people with what they called a sewing pass. Um, and that's people who have brought their own machines and they're kind of participating in this um, sewing class where they are, they've been given a pattern and they're going to sew um, a jacket. Uh, the instructions and everything was held um, at the front and you, you were shown videos and everything. So quite interesting actually. Um, and they actually got the Guinness World Record yesterday uh, for most people sewing at the same time. Um, quite funny and <laughs> interesting idea. Um, there was quite a bit of space sets out for the knitters, um, which was, I mean, really brilliant for those uh, who can knit. I cannot, other than, you know, the, the very basics. Um, I actually met a colleague inside who has a, a knitting business on the side. That was very lovely to see her. Um, there was also quite a big area set aside for vintage and secondhand shopping. I, I'm sorry to say I'm not a great um, vintage shopper. I should be. It's much more sustainable uh, and everything. But I just... <laughs> I can't get around the fact that other people have worn them. I know it's silly, um, but you know, I'd be up to buying like um, handbags, etc. But clothes, that's a bit intimate for me. <laughs> so, um, but I sh I'm working on it. I should be better at that. So I'm working on it. Um, and then there was the um, sewing businesses that were, yeah, I mean, they were selling um fabric obviously uh but also like haberdashery and and stuff like that i will probably um make a separate like hauls video shortly hello again from future self um you know I changed my mind. I thought I'd just show you what I bought straight away because who wants to wait for the best things? Um, <laughs> so I'll give you a quick uh, glance at what I bought. Um, not very exciting. I bought new blades for my rotary cutter because I need some, some new blades for that. Um, I also bought a couple of like patches that you can iron on. This one says feminist. I thought that was just too good to pass up. <laughs> and this lovely little patch with sewing things on it. Um, I'm planning on making a denim jacket and I thought this would be brilliant. And now for the fabric. Um, first of all, I went to um, the stand that my local fabric shop has. They have a lot of dead stock, etc. So it's, it's good for that. And this is um, kind of a brushed cotton. It's quite structured, um, so it's not at all like floppy like um, brushed cotton always be. Um, so I thought this might do as a kind of lining, except for the sleeves, obviously, um, inside um, a winter coat or jacket because um, it's so fluffy and and really warm and nice um otherwise i'll just make something like an ilford um jacket or shirt um in this as as on its own the second thing that i bought from that was uh, this one oh I'll, I'll show you the other side isn't this just lovely i have to just say straight away that I'm a total Christmas buff so I'm not even going to be sorry for saying Christmas even though it's September. <laughs> this is kind of uh, it's a cotton I think it feels kind of like a cotton lawn 
it's quite light and very soft to touch and I thought I'd either make a little shirt for myself wouldn't it be cute with like a little Donny shirt or something with that <laughs> for, for Christmas otherwise I think I'll make it to make a little Christmassy dress for my youngest daughter who I'm sure would adore that fabric then I went to um, a fabric store called Ida Victoria and she had uh, a little stall uh, with pre-cuts mainly um, of linen and uh, jersey, organic jersey. And um, I mean, the designs were just so lovely that I, I just had to buy something. And then I'm not crazy about pre-cuts, I have to say, because I think that I don't want to buy more than I know that I'll need because then you end up with all these kinds of little remnants everywhere that you can't really use <laughs> for anything. Um, but this was just too lovely to pass. Can you look at all those vibrant colors? Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, I just couldn't leave it. <laughs> and um I had thought about making a hoodie, like a page hoodie or something like that. But now that I have two meters, which was the smallest um, pre-cut she had, I'm considering making another Friday Pattern Company West Cliff because I love that pattern. All right. And then for the final shop that I visited, and it was um, it's a company called Livid. They were there and they had a good selection of things with them. Uh, it's not cheap, by the way. <laughs> it's not at all cheap, um, but it's very, very high quality dead stock. So I was, you know, happy to spend a little more there. This is a brushed cotton and it is the butteriest, softest fabric I've ever held. <laughs> um, and I mean, it's probably not my best color. Um, it's kind of gray, charcoal gray and black. Uh, but I thought it was so wearable with all my like black trousers and and grey and and jeans even, and it's so snugly to wear like a good good overshirt uh, in the winter. Just gorgeous fabric. And then last but not least, this is kind of the jewel. <laughs> um, Livid has they sell dead stock as I said, and um, they sell really high quality denim. Sorry about that. I had to answer the front door. All right. So, as I was saying, it's not always easy to get hold of really good quality denim, but I got a meter and a half of this really good um, bottom weight denim. Um, I think it's about between 11 and 12 ounces, and it has about 2% LS stain in it. So, I'm thinking about a pair really good um, Megan Nielsen Ash jeans would be just perfection. <laughs> um, so for now, I'll just uh, wish you a happy Sunday. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this, you can uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.